2018 was one of the best years of my life. Why? Because it just didn't go as planned. What really stood out is all the people that I met. I had been so distant from the YouTube community because I was constantly working. And this year I was just like, I want to meet incredible people. I want to connect with like-minded people. This is Ashley. Hi. And I was like, Happy to meet you. Good to meet you too. I think yeah. we just clicked. Yeah. Yeah. And I only Internet click. <laughs> Tyler does really cool travel Pokemon videos and he's just a nice guy. This guy right here I just met earlier, his name's Matthew and he's cycling all over the world. China was, is like where you're going. From China all the way to the United States. I made another friend over here from the other side of the world. Britain. I'm bloody English. Yes, he's from London. Yeah. Tyler. He literally stepped out of his comfort zone. People were peer pressuring him to dance in the circle and he was like, hell no. But he did it. Check it out. I'm not really a dancer, okay? I don't mind doing anything else crazy. That's like the one thing I'm not comfortable with and it got me to do it. And then suddenly in July, I lost my job and I was like, oh, what the heck am I gonna do? But no, I knew it was a blessing in disguise and this job was awesome. Like, I got to travel everywhere. Just arrived to Indianapolis. I just arrived to Philly. I just arrived to Miami. I'm not a big baller. The only reason I'm staying in hotels like this is because of work. So I'm very excited about this. This year I got to go to Guatemala after not going for 16 years. I hadn't seen my dad in three years. And I straight up told my family like, I'm not going, I can't go. I can't put work like to the side. Like this job means so much to me. And literally, if I wouldn't have gone, I wouldn't have seen my dad and I would have still lost my job. So I'm glad that I spoke up to my boss and I was like, I need to go to Guatemala. Like I have not seen my dad. This is so important to me, please. And they said, yes. Now I'm exactly where I wanna be. I had prayed for this for the longest time to just be my own boss and get to work from anywhere and do what I love to do, which is YouTube. Right after I lost my job, I remember one of the first things I did, I was like literally Googled, what the heck am I gonna do, right? <laughs> and uh, I thought, Carla, you've always wanted to volunteer abroad. Like, find a program like let's do this thing and so um, I went to the US Virgin Islands and this was the best trip ever because I got to go with one of my best friends and create with them and also share like a story of purpose and that was like one of the biggest things I've always wanted to do like I feel like I could die right now <laughs> because I was just like I, I get to do what I love I get to tell stories and I get to create content with my friends while traveling while doing good it was epic but it wasn't easy like getting this free trip to the US Virgin Islands with an awesome organization called All Hands and Hearts. Like me and Romina had to pitch to them and then we had to try to reach out to brands so they can sponsor us. We watch her latest Guatemala videos because she went to Guatemala to reconnect with her family and it's it's so heartfelt, it's wonderful. Um, and I just think that being able to get those two perspectives, cause I'm, I'm very much about the fun of things and the positivity. And then I had to do like a GoFundMe so I can get money to go. Cause guys, I just had lost my job so I didn't have money. And uh, thank you, thank you guys. Like the, it just showed how much you guys have cared for me as a person as a creator and i am forever grateful for you guys to do that and like the fact that i did that was just kind of like the reassurance that i can do anything i set my mind to starting your own business is not easy like but I wasn't scared because I knew God was right there by my side. This year I strengthened my relationship with my creator and I said yes to accepting Jesus and like I got baptized. And guys, I got on so many business call, business call after business call. Well, I think that that's great because I, I love that you're doing this on your own. It was exhausting. Like being a content creator is not easy. It's not like, oh, she got sponsors, super easy. It's like emails after phone calls and it was just a mess. <laughs> but I am so glad that I said no. Like I was like, I'm not going to a full-time job. And I always get people being like, oh, like, this person's hiring and this person's hiring and I'm like I don't want a full-time job I don't like leave me alone <laughs> and I am so glad that I stood my ground and I said no because it takes courage to say no but when you say no it's because you believe in yourself and I and I knew that I was capable of doing it I started booking clients it is 2018 October 7th I got some good news today I've been praying about a freelance job that allows me to work from anywhere so i'm going to be a social media strategist and content creator for a really huge brand that saw my value and is willing to pay me what i offered them so um 
that's super cool. Speaking up really got me so many opportunities these last months because I was like, I wanna be a public speaker. Guys, I had not admitted that to anybody but like God and my dream board and like my best friends. And then suddenly people were like, hey Carla, like you would be perfect for being an MC. Can you MC my sister's birthday? Can you MC my event? Can you speak for my classroom? And then now I'm going to freaking Mexico next year because I said yes to one public speaking event. So tonight we are celebrating authenticity and positive change making in fashion and film. And we have a great lineup of speakers, musicians, brands. And so I'm so excited to be here. And hi, my name is Carla. My name is Carla. I'm here MC for the night. I can say it's official. I am a public speaker and I'm going to Mexico and I'm holding back tears right now. Do you guys see them? Wait, wait. Do you see how my eyes are kind of, oh, right there. Okay, you can see the twinkle. Look, hold on. Do you see that right there? That right there is me. I mean, it's not literally me. They're, they're, it's two separate ladies. Guys, I sang in front of people. I don't know how to sing, but I was just like, you know what? I want to do it. Why not? This is girl, the best remedy is boy meets girl. Boy, don't make it harder than it has to be. Come lay one on me. One of the hardest decisions this year was moving back home. I had to remind myself that it wasn't because I failed, it's because I have a purpose. There's a reason for me like having lost my job and having moved back home. And I remember when I left Los Angeles, I just cried. I just let myself feel and I was like, I, I don't know why I'm crying. I don't really miss LA, but I'm just so proud of everything that I've done. 10 miles away from moving back to your hometown. You left Los Angeles not because you failed, but because you know that you can succeed anywhere. That I am older and I moved to Los Angeles and I've experienced so many cool things and I'm back in my hometown. I have this love and appreciation for, for this town. Um, it's where I grew up, it's where I was shaped, and I want to make it a great place to live in. Nice yeah, we're just plogging. <laughs> All right, guys, so today we, my friend Janessa and her little son Jacoby over there, we're about to go save the world with clogging. Yeah. You're here from Modesto. I am. You're bringing the scene to downtown Modesto. Okay, so what is plogging? So plogging is picking up trash while jogging. Um, it is from the term plaka up, which is a Swedish term. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, what is something that you guys want to do in your 2019? Let me know in the comments. Let me know how I can help you guys. I'm always on Instagram and Twitter. So if you guys want to like send me a DM and just talk about life and just goals and entrepreneurship and like all of that, let me know because I am here to be your friend. You guys have been here through this journey. When I started sharing more, um, I went from kind of being very curated on my content to coming back and being the vulnerable, open Carla. And I think that is who I want to continue to be because when you're open and when you speak up, things just happen. And you just gotta enjoy life for what it is, you know, because like you're living, so. <laughs> All right, guys, I will talk to you later. And my hair is like all over the place. I'm just so happy. That's what this will, uh, it just, ah. Uh. All right. I kind of want somebody to be here with me just so they can see how awesome this place is. And look, I have dirt all over my hands now. Anyways, ah, uh, bye guys.